talk about basic commands like who am I or um, DIR or which is directories, desktop, do, uh, desktop documents, downloads, music, pictures. Um, talk about CD. Like if you're going to CD into something like CD desktop, it doesn't work, right? So, okay, I need help. How do you do that? Minus H, help command cannot be found. Minus H. Oh, that command doesn't, doesn't work. Oh, okay, all right. So you want to type PWD, you know, like things like that. Hey guys, I'm doing this. Kevin Zaki bringing another video on information technology. I hope you're having a good day. Happy Saturday. And today I want to go over um, setting up Kali Linux on a VM. Um, if you're brand new to IT, obviously, if you know, you're new to my channel, you know what to do. Rate, comment, subscribe, give me a thumbs up. Greatly appreciate it. So today I want to go over uh, Linux basics for hackers. This is going to be me covering a whole series on certain things that you need to know if you're going to run Linux, if you're going to do Linux commands and uh, give you fundamental knowledge on Linux and um, why is it important and how do, why you need to know it if you're going to work for cybersecurity or you're going to work for a sysadmin. Now it's going more into the nitty gritty stuff for me because I don't do Linux. That's so going to be very interesting. So let me share my screen with you and go over Linux, Kali Linux, and let's set it up from scratch together. Okay. So screen one, as you can see here, I already have it set up. I set up my own version of it. Uh, it's going to be fun for both of us. So what I did was I went to, because um, the instructions weren't clear for me, I had to read the book and I, I, I found I found the answers online. I had to get it to work correctly, right? So what I did was I went into VirtualBox. I downloaded VirtualBox, downloaded the latest one, which is VirtualBox 7.0. Once you download that, you go here and do Kali Linux ISO. You get the download for that as well. Uh, you get the first one that's right here, which is Kali Linux 2022.3. Change log is right there. If you want to find out changes about it, that tells you a little bit more about it. They have a Discord server and everything. I downloaded this one. Click the little arrow here to download it. I did that already. They have 32-bit as well. It's entirely up to you. And then they have other things here as well. Like if you want to pre-build one, you can get a pre-build one from scratch right here. What you do is just download it. I, I recommend downloading the first one, okay? Close out of that. Now let's make a, now let's make a new VM, okay? So literally what you're going to do is you're going to type new, you're going to type Kali, and you're going to type Kali VM, or you could type Kali Linux for the sake of this video. So we're going to do that and hit next. I'm going to give it two gigs of RAM. You could give it one, which is fine. Next, create a virtual desk. Next, next. Uh, I'm going to put 26 here, create. And then we're going to hit start. That's to start the VM. So. Literally, what we're going to do now is we're going to select the installer or the ISO. The ISO is like your CD. So think about you popping a CD on a, on a PC and then you're running the installation for it when you're running Windows 7 or XP or Vista, et cetera, et cetera. So now we're running the ISO. The ISO is right here. By default, it's going to where I put it originally because I already installed this already. So for you that are brand new, you're not going to get this drop down. You're going to get like nothing here. You're going to get nothing. So what you do is you click on the little arrow key right here, right next to it. You hit add. You choose Kali Linux, you hit choose, and you hit start. So all you got to do. And then you're going to hit the first one, which is graphical, graphical install. Install that real quick. It's going to give you a bunch of error messages. That's totally fine. Don't worry about that. Don't be, don't go panicky or anything. Um, we're going to hit the English one. We're going to hit United States. We're going to hit America English. And just give it a second. And it's gonna give you a host name, which is Cali, which is fine. And this is your domain. So you, I put Keptech, Keptech. Dot. I'm gonna put dot net for this one. That's fine because I already made the dot edu. It should let me in. Yep. The the user account will be created for you to use this to use instead of the root account for non-administrative activities. Please enter the real name of this user. So I'm gonna put the same thing I did before, Kevin Pornario. By default, it's gonna, it's gonna choose Kevin for me, which is fine. Then you create a password real quick. Uh, Eastern. So 
So we're going to do use entire disk. You can choose that one. Uh, one put all file and partition recommended from new users, which is fine. Finish partitioning, write the changes to disk. Uh, hit yes to make changes. Let that run. It's installing all the basic stuff. Just give that a second. This today is just, today is just installing it. Then we'll go into the nitty gritty stuff on the book, like what is what has been uh, command line, certain basic commands, because um, this book covers that. It covers basic fundamental knowledge that you need to know if you're going to go into Linux. And if you're going to learn Linux, I recommend you grab this book, Linux, Linux Basics for Hackers is really good. It's a good book. Um, I have another book that I'm going to go over as well. So, I, so by the time you're done watching my videos, you'll be well-rounded with Linux stuff. So let that install. And I, I could have easily put it on Ubuntu if I wanted to and then download the packages se separately for hacking and stuff like that. But I'm not going to do that today. So here you just leave it alone. Don't click on anything else. Hit continue. The reason why I said don't click on anything else is I clicked on the other stuff and then my 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 VM literally stopped working after that. I'm like, crap. So um, I'm just going to I'm going to leave it the way it is. So I, I know this works. It's pretty, it's pretty fast. Um, it just shouldn't take that long. It should probably take like maybe five minutes or 10 minutes, maybe 10 minutes, maybe less than that. It's just it's going to take that long. It's just installing all the, all the, um, hacking tools if that makes sense you'll see it once i once i get into it you'll see like the different tools in there that you could play around with I'm, which i'm not going to go over today but i'll, I'll just i'll just log into it and everything show you how it runs most of the time it's just all about waiting 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 Just cleaning it up. It's almost done. All right. Looks like it's done. Perfect. So this is bootloader. So if you want to boot into other operating systems, I'm going to leave it as yes. I'm going to hit continue into into the device. And it gives you a recommendation of what path directory. So you have to create a, a, a folder for it, basically. You're telling it where to go into, right? So I'm going to do the first one. And I'm going to type that in as the, as the one. Uh, now it's running the installation. It's, it's almost done. Almost done. You got to have, have a lot of patience with this. It's all about waiting. That's how IT is sometimes with, with these installations, these updates and patches. Uh, you, have to, you have to wait. All right, so it's going to be reboot, which is fine. It's going to reboot. We're going to have this thing, request system reboot. It's requesting system reboot. Um, and it should be done. And then that's it. That's pretty much it. You enter. It should let me in. You should just have a regular login screen. And it does. And I'm literally going to put my name in there. And I'm going to put my password, the one that I just created. And I'm going to log in. And there we go. Now we have Kali Linux installed from scratch. Um, Obviously, if you know there's a task managers right there, this is usage. You have network cable right there. You have your sound right there. Notifications, computer, time, lock screen. If you want to log out, you can log out. Um, and you have your command right over here. And this is where I talk about we're gonna we're gonna talk about basic commands like who am I or um, dir or which is directories, desktop, do, uh, desktop documents, downloads, music, pictures, um, 
talk about CD. Like if you're going to CD into something like CD desktop, it doesn't work, right? So, okay, I need help. How do you do that? Minus H, help command cannot be found. Minus H. Oh, that command doesn't, doesn't work. Oh, okay, all right. So you want to type PWD, you know, like things like that. So that's pretty much it for me for today. I'm going to shut down this VM. I'm going to shut it down. Uh, I'm going to stop sharing. So that's how you install Kali Linux on a, on a VM. Simple as that. I am going to make the video a lot quicker. So then when you see, I can skip all the necessary, unnecessary parts. So that means I hope you have a wonderful day. And stay tuned for my next video on part two on fundamental basics of commands and stuff like that. With that being said, I hope you have a good day. Take care. Peace. Bye.